Welcome back to AV Veterans Talk. we are continuing our conversation with this week's guest, Jody Champagne. So Jody, uh, your great projects here, uh, your great passion for your, your subject, you know, I think that really comes through. Uh, I want to thank you for obviously coming in and being a part of this, uh, you know, <laughs> and uh, thank you. everybody that comes in here and uh, has a special story. And you're definitely one of those people that has a special story. So your project here, um, how uh, people seeing this or listening uh, want to obtain uh, a specific or you know, buy all three series here and stuff, how do they go about that? Uh, well, you can actually go on my website. Mm -hmm. All three of them will be available there. Okay. Um, or you can go to Amazon mm -hmm. and uh, just type in either my name or Diminishing Generations and the books will come up. Right. And um, working right now, I'm getting them into Barnes & Noble as well. Very good. Now, uh, because of the special technology that's involved here, uh, there is an app, so if you want to get the download of it and actually watch it, you know, you were saying some of your interviews are short. Some of them can go on for a couple hours right, right there. So uh, that app is free, uh, and right. that information is probably in the books, right? right? And also, it's, it's fairly simple. I'm not that tech guy. We, we have people that do tech. That do tech. Okay, <laughs> and stuff. It's all good. I'm becoming techie. <laughs> Be techie. So, uh, but it's it's a fairly easy. And I remember the day on the Iowa. You know, there was a, a representative there showing people how simple it is to do. The, the, the download on the app and stuff and be able to do that, right? That's correct. Right. It's, um, the app is free. You can, you know, even download it right now and, and uh, browse through it. You can see a little bit of their, uh, each um, uh, veteran's uh, bio mm -hmm. and you can kind of get a gist of, you know, who's in the books. Yeah. And uh, before um, getting the books, if you'd like, just to get, you know, a little techie about it, shall yeah. we say. Yeah, techie, good, yeah. <laughs> So, and, you know, I'm lucky I actually have three autographed copies <laughs> because I knew the author, yes. you know, and that's always a good thing. Uh, I'm sure some people, I'd, I'd like to see these books, you know, and I, I'm going to make a recommendation to people that are listening to the show or, or seeing this that uh, what a great gift if you live in a community to buy the series and donate it to a local school library because... Like I said, we don't, they don't really teach the subject matter in there. Kids today are very visual. Yes. You know, sitting down and reading a book does not really reach out to them. But to do a subject matter to where or they have to do a report and actually look and listen to an individual explain their history. Right. In that, a way that they know. That the, this is a technology of the future. Right. And, you know, what better way to bring books back for one. Right. But also um, integrate it with today's technology right so now it's going to be a little bit more interesting for our youth for the youth today or yeah. even young adults i mean yeah. that have no clue about these wars yeah and that so and that was my purpose to kind of bring the past to the present yeah in a new way yeah well and i'm a i'm a big advocate of this because i see the changing of uh, the dynamics of how history and, and uh, subject matters are taught and this is really the key and i i even recommended to some people to wear you know what, if you're a group like a Rotary or a Kiwanis Club or a local women's club, you know, buy, uh, you know, make a, a group purchase of this and stuff and go around and make sure they get in the schools, right. you know, stuff and get that message out there. What a great donation you can make as an organization to make sure that, that this, this type of history continues on. Because uh, there was the, you know, the, 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 the programs through, uh, oh, was the Liv Living History program and uh, the Smithsonian and things like that. But I'm a big advocate of what's done on a local basis that can also go national. And I think this right. is a perfect uh, project here that can go national. Right. And, and, and the difference, I think, too, with the way I interviewed compared to some of the other interviews is the fact that they can speak their mind. Mm -hmm. They're not filtered. That's true. And, yeah. and so the others might, you know, the others might be filtered. I don't, I don't know, well, but you know, I, you know, get get in depth into, you know, what they're thinking at that moment. So, um, but also too, just to let you know, and I'm sure, I, I'm sure you probably know, because I have, I always have to tell you. Yeah. But um, they are now a permanent collection in the Library of Congress. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And that so, which is they're they're going to be living 
History. Very good. Well, and see, the nice thing in, you know, uh, is the fact that, you know, a lot of those interviews, uh, you know, especially when they were done by school kids and everything, a veteran will hold something back if he's yes. in an interview with a young person, where with you, uh, you know, once again, I'm going to just let it all out of there. Some of the language and some of the, the descriptions and things are pretty, pretty brutal. Yes. But you know what? That's that generation. Yes. And uh, we don't take anything away from that. And you have to experience as that generation did to understand that history. I always say my classic line is you can't judge the past by today's standards. Exactly. You have to go back there and put yourself in their, in their shoes. Right. And what the world looked like back then and take it... Uh, taken on face value and your interviews do that exactly and and they're one of their main purposes also is to as general in all of them is to let this today's youth know that war isn't pretty yeah there's too many things out there today whether movies or games about shooting up and stuff like that but for them they want them to know yeah. that war is not pretty it yeah. might sound fun until you actually you know are there and have having to face the 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 option of having to kill somebody yeah. or not yeah and um and that and that that actually um made me think of that new uh movie uh hacksaw ridge yeah yeah, yeah that actually you know who that reminded me of who nap 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 yeah, he nap. was a objective observer pete knight veterans home yep. uh okinawa and, yes and uh he was the medic yep and uh God bless Nap. So yep, yep. anyway, and I can always uh, kind of close this up with one thing that, that these stories uh, really bring home to these generation is uh, that's out there now is nobody wants peace more than a soldier because a soldier has to do the killing. Yes. And that's the last thing that they want to do. Yes. You know, so anyway, I want to thank you for coming in here. And, thank uh, you for having me. Sitting on Bob's couch here for a while. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, we'll make sure we get the information out on your book, the apps, Great. how we can do and stuff. You know, we'll make sure it gets into the into the feed here. And uh, good luck on uh, future, on your current project. Thank and you. I hope we see a lot more from you because uh, you're, a, you're a special person on a mission. Thank you. And uh, we love you for what you're doing. So Thank right. you very much, and thank you for having thank me. Thank you, Jody. Thank we'll you. See you. Bye. <laughs> I'm Bob Alvis, and thanks for joining us for this segment of AV Veterans Talk.